1915, World War I was underway. The first transcontinental telephone call was made. Albert Einstein announced the general theory of relativity, and Babe Ruth hit his first home run that year. Who knew? Well, during that year of monumental events, Baltimore's Washington Monument became the keeper of Baltimore's secrets. 11 News reporter Rob Roblin has the story. They started the restoration job of the monument in January of this year. When they started this job, they didn't really know what they would find. Since the restoration job began, workers have found all kinds of things. Well, we found a lot of signatures and dates. Uh, there's signatures that we found in the basement from between 1819 to 29. A lot of the stones outside, we found craftsmen's names and dates. And just about three weeks ago, we found a commemorative date stone right below the Capitol from about 1820. But it was on October the 16th when the project manager made the big discovery. We hoped that there would be something back there, but we didn't think there would be. I removed the plaque just enough to stick a camera behind there, take a photo. When I realized what was on the photo, I put the plaque back and then called Dr. Humphreys. And here it is, a time capsule placed here in 1915 as part of the centennial celebration. It was hidden behind this plaque for all those years. A copper box soldered shut. It appears to be in good shape. They actually took some effort. You can see those little shims here on the ground so that it wasn't touching the ground. Uh, George Wilk said this morning that they might have done that to keep it from uh, touching water, knowing that copper would um, corrode some. And actually, the copper is in pretty great shape. It doesn't look like it's got a lot of water damage, which you can see how much water damage there is on the niche behind it. And what might be inside this time capsule? The newspaper accounts do say that there were souvenir programs from like the centennial of the monument and some newspapers of the day, and we hope that there are other things. The capsule will be taken to the Walters Art Museum, where experts there will determine when it will be open. Rob Roblin, WBAL-TV, 11 News.